And welcome back, everyone, to What If Naruto Had a Sister, Naruko, Part 2. Uh, last time on Naruto What If, we explained basically what how Naruko, personality-wise, was. Uh, her relationship with Naruto, her relationship with the overall class, how she affects Naruto positively in the class, as well as maybe a little bit of their negatives. Now, someone did bring up whether or not she had, what, uh, basically, because I talked about how she doesn't have quite as much chakra as Naruto, but she's got better control over it. It's very, it's actually a very simple concept basis of, like, chakra control versus the amount you have. It, say you have a water balloon. It's easier to hold a, a water balloon of that size. There's less water in it. It's a smaller amount. It's easier to control that. The bigger the balloon gets, you might have more water, but it's more unmanageable. So you have to practice with it more to control it. That's the general just the chalk control. Uh, now, someone brought up the point that actually she should have more of the Naruto right now, but he'll have more there down the line. I don't personally just I don't personally agree with that. I, I just don't see why, how that really... I mean, they explained it, but I just, that's the case here. Anyway, um, so we now cut to later on in their in their life where we're looking at the actual graduation exam. Now, one of the things we should note is that Naruto doesn't try to graduate early here. He, Naruko tells him to really just hunker down, practice, practice makes perfect, we'll get it down, and she's very much trying to keep him from, like, just jumping gung-ho. Granted, while she is the more mature of the two, by, like, a little bit, she's the Minato to his Kushina in terms of excitement, she is still very much Naruto's sister and the child of Kushina. She will jump the gun and make rash decisions, too, but she's at least got that, she's at least the more sensible of the two. And this keeps Naruto in line, for what it's worth. So, Naruto and her do the best they can to, you know, pass the graduation exam. All of that. Now, in terms of, like, the basic stuff, uh, we know there was a written portion. We don't know if there was, like, a physical fitness portion, though we can kind of gather there might have been. Um, the, it, like, a lot of fa all of the fanfics I've uh, wrote, yeah, written, I have not written any, uh, read, where, we, there, where they touched upon graduation, graduation exam, do imply there might have been, or do put in there that there was. But that's fan fiction. All we do know was that there was a written portion and a portion where they were testing the jutsu. That's all we know. At least from the canon, that's all we know of the original Naruto series. So we'll go with that assumption. And Naruto and her... Naruto doesn't do much better than he does canon-wise, written test-wise. Although I'd say he gets, he's probably done a little bit better than he did in the original, because he has his sister there to help him study. Naruko, I imagine, is definitely the, the smarter academically between the two of them. But I don't see it being much above average. I don't see her being a super genius or uh, even being just, you know, top of the class like Sakura or, you know, uh, even I don't, I don't I would say I don't even see her being quite as high as like Hinata in terms of like her grades. But I could see her. I mean, we don't know where Hinata really landed, but we could assume it was still pretty high. Uh, but I can still see her being, like, at least in the middle to slightly upper half of the class. Lower upper half, anyway. But they both still get through that, and then they have their actual, you know, um, test, or clone test. Now, we also know that each of the uh, students go in separately. Well, let's see, Naruko no Uzumaki, Naruto Uzumaki. I believe that means, because they go alphabetically, that would mean Naruko actually goes first. Now, as I said, she actually has better chakra control than Naruto and can at least pull off a single clone Genjutsu. Because it is technically a Genjutsu. Uh, well, technically it's not. It is a technically just a ninjutsu. It's just an illusion-based jutsu. Um, which is very weird. It's not actually a Genjutsu, but it kind of acts like a Genjutsu, which is weird. Anyway. Um, so she is able to... I think she's able to, at this point, make two copies one that's a perfect image of her, but the other is kind of closer to what Naruto ended up creating in the original. And unfortunately, they both, he's like, we can't pass you, Naruko, sorry. And Naruko's just, it's fine, and, uh, fine, whatever, I'll just pass it next year. It's like, yeah, that's the spirit. Uh, and, Nar and Iruko feels bad about this, because we haven't touched on Iruko's uh, relationship with Naruto or Naruko. I do think, like, I do think he sees a lot of himself in Naruto, because I think Naruto still is a prankster. Naruko, not so much, but does join him occasionally on pranks. 
And I think he does have kind of a big brother relationship to both of them. He almost like a foster parent scenario, but not, he doesn't actually adopt them. Uh, so he does feel bad about not being able to, you know, pass them or anything like that. But he's he's got to be firm about that. He can't make exceptions. Naruto comes in to see his sister didn't pass. It's like, oh, it's like, uh, it's like I'll pass for both of us. Believe it. And Naruto's like, yeah, of course you will. But she's also so bummed that she didn't pass. He now sees this too and realizes, oh, Naruto, it's okay. Are, are you okay? You could, where, where's your headband? And Naruto just doesn't say anything. Or like you. Oh, you didn't? No, it's all right, Hinata. I'll just have to try next... I'll just try to try harder next year. That's all there is to it. Uh, and then one day we'll be all ninja together. No problem. Believe it! <laughs> and she just has a smile. It's a, it's the it's a fake smile, but there's also some sincerity behind it. Hinata's figured out when Naruto and Naruko are putting on the fake smiles. Naruto also doesn't pass. He's unable to even make one copy. His chakra control just can't get there. At least not at this point in time. And someone did mention that he can make clones in Boruto, like standard clones. I look at, like, as far as I can tell, he cannot do that. I don't know where anyone's getting that idea he can do that. But as far as I can tell, he cannot make the clones with the clone jutsu. The shadow clone? Yes. The clone? No. Anyway. Um, so, they basically, they're, you know, uh, congratulating their friends, Shino, Hinata, I even imagine, like, they, Shikamaru Choji, they're, they're generally cool guys, and they never really gave Naruto any crap, so, they ultimately kind of are chummy with them as well, they give them the congrats, they're kind of just hanging out by that swing Naruto's on in the original, and, I can't remember, is that where Mizuki met up with them? I can't remember where Mizuki ended up meeting Naruto to, like, tell him about the other exam, um... But they're kind of hanging out, and they're bummed, but they still got each other, and they're talking about heading home. And that's when Mizuki uh, shows up. It's like, oh, Naruto, Naruko, I was looking for you, too. Uh, it's like, what do you what, what do you need? Uh, what's up, Mizuki said. Say, what do, you, what do you want? It's like, oh, I just I just felt bad about how Naruko was, uh, you know, how Naruko treated you uh, back there and everything along those lines. It's like, well, yeah, he didn't have to be so harsh. It's like a Naruko comments like, you know, but Naruko's right. We weren't even able to do the bare minimum. Uh, we just got to get, we're just got to train harder. No matter, we're not giving up. Of course not. We're not giving up. No matter what, believe it. Well, then if that's the case, then I guess it's time. I, I guess I should probably tell you then there is a, another way you can graduate. It's something we, it's something we only uh, keep reserved for those who can't graduate the normal way. But if you can uh, complete this test, it will still prove that you're worthy of being ninjas of this leaf village. <laughs> And so he tells them about the scroll. Now, Naruko admittedly is suspicious about this. She does have a better sense of, a better, uh, sense of wariness around people. Uh, she's the one who's kind of been taking care of Naruto a bit more than... I mean, they've been taking care of each other, but she is the big sister. She's the one who... Um, she's the one who, you know, sticks up for Naruto a lot. And I mean, Naruto sticks up for her, but you know what I mean. But at the same... And she's the smarter of the two as well. But at the same time... She's also vulnerable at the moment, just like Naruto, because she wanted to pass. Uh, so, she she's gripping onto this idea of belief, and you know they had like get at the scroll, the scroll, and they look up the jutsu in the scroll. It's like Shadow Clone Jutsu. It's my oh, it's my worst jutsu. So, and you know Naruko is looking through. Now Naruko, now the scroll and ceiling has pretty much all of the forbidden jutsu. And all the jutsu of the leaf, theoretically, in there. That's what the Forbidden Scroll actually is. At least, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, and Shadow Clone Jutsu isn't the only thing in there. There's plenty of things in there. One of them I, I can see happening is that she, instead of going for the Shadow Clone Jutsu, because she can make a clone. She just can't make Shadow Clones, but Shadow Clones are different. She decides to go for a different jutsu. Now, there are God knows how many jutsu in there. So which one exactly did I want to go with? Well, yeah, even up until this point, I've been kind of wrestling with the idea of which one I want to go with. There's no way it ha would have to be a jutsu she could learn right then and there. So it's not like she could do the flying thunder god. She, she can't do a sangon or anything like that. It would have to be a jutsu that she could do right there. What I think she decides to go for isn't the shadow clone jutsu. What I think she decides to go for is instead the Shuriken Shadow Clone Jutsu. Both of them, again, 
Naruto and her kind of mirroring each other, and ultimately they would end up showing the other the jutsu anyway, so they're actually going to end up with both of them, but the thing is that, you know, they're practicing and they're huffing and puffing, it's like, ah, I finally found you two, Naruto, Naruko, <laughs> uh, it looks like you caught us, Kakashi Sensei, uh, Kakashi, Iruka Sensei, we, we, I only had, we both only had time to learn one technique from this thing. It's like, oh, she, they've been out here practicing. They can tell her they've been working. No, no, uh, it's all good. I learned a jutsu from this. We both learned jutsu from the school, so we can become ninja now. What? Where'd you get that idea? And Naruka's like, Naruko was just like, you know, Mizuki Sensei said, uh, told us that, uh, told us this. He told us where the scroll is and all that. And and Naruko, it does dawn on Naruko as she looks at Iruka's expression. And she's like, Naruto, I th we were lied. It's like, I think we were lied to. And then the, you know, the shadow, the shark can come out, Penny Ruka. It's like, ah, there you are, Naruto, Naruko. There you are. Give me the scroll. Iruka just doesn't want you to pass. You two, please. I <laughs> it's like, what's going? On? And then Naruto's like, what's going on? Why? What? I, I'm so confused. Like, and Naruka does. He's like, oh, and she's gritting her teeth. Like that bastard tricked us, Naruto. It's like, oh, well, you really were the smarter of the two siblings, weren't you, Naruko? Yeah, you still weren't smart enough to figure out not to go and steal the scroll. Um, I guess it's the shit that gets what you get for being involved with a demon. It's like, what are you talking about? Would you like to know? Oh, oh, that's right. You don't know, do you? Because Naruko, I don't think, knows truly what Naruto, what's wrong with Naruto either. She just knows that they've always shunned and hated Naruto, and she just doesn't understand why. Neither does Naruto. Uh, and... and Mizuki, Mizuki basically just, you know, goes in and gives a spiel, and there's like, don't tell him, it's forbidden! The, the, the decree is that the Nine Tails Fox was sealed inside you, Naruto! That's right. Everyone in Naruka Sensei hates you the most. The Fox killed his parents. They've all been lying to you, and lying to you, and you, Naruko, poor dear, having a demon for a brother, what... Uh, and without even knowing it, and now what? Now what we do is like, and Naruko just looks at her brother. It's like he's got the nine tailed fox seal. Is like, and like, no, 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 no. And Naruto's like, Naruko, and he. While this isn't what Naruko's actually feeling right now, she is. She does have a look on her face of shock. It's like, and Naruto can see the shock on her face, and for the first time in his life. He feels that he is truly alone for a moment because even the look of his sister, the girl who's helped raise him and he's helped raise, because they're literally just a minute apart, only like a few minutes apart, but the, who's been through thick, uh, thick and thin, he, he, she she doesn't know what to say at this moment, and it's like everything that she everything they had is just gone at that moment. Just and he just hightails it out. There's a Naruko's like Naruto, and then Naruko finally snaps out of it. Naruto, no, Naruto, uh, and she realizes exactly what happened. She was in shock, and she just had to process it. She didn't obviously she doesn't hate him or anything like that. Like, but she didn't realize that you know just hesitating like that would affect him that much. So she's like beelining for him. And trying to look for him. Ultimately, you get the Iruka and Mizuki scenario where he disguised himself as that. And if, um, <laughs> and finally, Naruko does find Naruto and they hear uh, the speech Iruka gives. And she's like, I'm sorry, I reacted. I was just shocked. It's like, it's shocked. It's like, you think I'm a demon, don't you, sis? You think I'm this monster? And he starts to cry. And then finally, she just smacks him right there. He's like, you are my... I don't care what the, what's the sealed inside you, who you, is, uh, what's sealed inside you, be it a demon, be it a demon, a bowl or a bowl of ramen, for God's sake. You're my Naruto, you're my brother. What happened to the, what happened to the Naruto who never gives up and never backs down? Huh? What about the Naruto who's going to become a kage? After me, of, after me, of course, and she jokes, because that's the thing, we never talk, I was, was going to lead up to when they actually meet for, like, their teams and stuff like that, but... They both are kind of aspiring for Okage, but they both know they're most like not both. Ugh. They both know that both of them can't be Okage, so they are gonna they will help push both of the, each other to reach that goal and support whoever gets it first, because that's you know siblings, friends and siblings. Uh, so and then they hear what Naruka says, and then you know they're kind of they both got some tears in their eyes. Like you are through. I'm gonna kill you, Naruka. And all of a sudden. Instead of Naruto popping out of there, well, no, well, Naruto does, you know, crack him and say, if you ever touch our sensei again, we'll kill you. Let's show me what you got, Nine-Tailed Fox. 
It's like, Naruko, and it's like, eh, bring it on. I'll bring it back to you a thousand fold. And all of a sudden, you know, he creates the shadow clones. However, uh, Naruko, <laughs> then, uh, uh, Naruko uh, gets ready for shadow, shuriken jutsu, shark, or shuriken shadow clone jutsu. Uh, and they beat the crap out of Mizuki. A scenario arises where Mizuki tries to get away. It's like, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, Sensei? And she's just got two, a couple shuriken in her hands. Like, Ugh, you think I can't stop a couple lousy shuriken? Shuriken shadow clone jutsu! It turns into a hundred, just like Naruto. It's like, ah, they need to, ah, he just gets tagged, and then Mizuki's just there, bleeding to, and bl beaten to a bloody pulp on the ground. And, I'd see, I like the way this, this scenario goes, like, yeah, you, you go, Karen, Ruka sensei It's like, I'm fine. And like, Naruto, Naruko, come here, close your eyes for a second. And it's like, oh, okay. And it's like, now open them. Congratulations. You graduate. I like the idea that he just took Mizuki's headband off his mangled corpse. And she's like, here you go, Naruko. <laughs> it's like, ah! they both give him a hug. I was like, yeah, by the way, I don't think I ever really indicated what Naruko's wardrobe is. Um, now, we know how Hinata, Ino, and Sakura dress. They all three of them do dress pretty differently. However, two, one of the things that seems to be common with them is that they wear these, not shorts, but not pants. Like these ninja short pants. They're short pants, really. They come up to like, um, like they're, they go a little, I think, above the, uh, the knee on them. Uh, but then you get Hinata, who does wear straight pants. She wears the baggy, uh, jacket. Uh, you get, uh, you get, uh, Sakura, who wears kind of like a Chinese-inspired dress. And then you get Ino, who wears this tank top with bandages and, like, this, um, kind of skirt thing along with the, uh, bandaged, uh, shorts, if you will. So, I guess, what the, the question is, what is Naruko's wardrobe? Because it does occur to me, I've never actually specified this. Naruto's wardrobe's the same. I have no, pro there's no reason it wouldn't be the same, except the Naruko, because I imagine Naruko probably also has a thing for orange, maybe that's to the same extent, she might like the blue a bit more than the orange, honestly, I could see that, she still likes orange, but more blue in her case, I see it probably being a combination of Eno's and Hinata's, she's wearing actual pants, but she actually has no problem wearing the uh, like the tank top or anything like that because she's got no problem with her body. Uh, I imagine she's probably one of the more attractive girls in her group, uh, and probably more developed than some of the other ones because she's actually she actually trains and works out and takes good care of her body. Um, but I like I like the combination of um, Hinata the pants from Hinata and the top from Eno, and I like those little. I mean, technically they're bracers, but really they're sleeves without... They're sleeves that aren't attached to the thing. I like that. I do like that. So maybe she could have, like, some, like, bracers in there or something like that that actually help, like, in combat, just to toughen her up a little bit. She could store some shuriken and stuff in there, especially now that she's got the uh, Shadow Clone Shuriken Jutsu. Either way, they pass. So moving on to when they're getting their pictures taken, do they get them taken at the same time? I actually, I actually don't think so, because we know that Naruto uh, wasn't getting it taken at the same time as other people. Granted, he they did graduate at a slightly different time. Uh, like, uh, like he graduated technically later in the day, so he had to maybe just reschedule. For the sake of argument, let's say they didn't get taken at the same time. Naruto takes a pretty normal picture. Naruto's still a goof. He meets Shikamaru. Most of that's the same. I actually think the Shikamaru thing... Uh, Shikamaru. <laughs> he meets Inari. Where did I get that? Not Inari either. Konohamaru. Duh. Third time's the charm, they say. Especially when you're a moron. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a moron. You know, real quick, just a side note. Let's take 30 seconds. I will call myself an idiot sometimes and all that, but it's because I don't realize something that's very obvious. Like when I was having the problem with my computer, I didn't realize I muted the mic. Uh, and now I'm like, I'm an idiot when it comes to technology. I am. I'm an idiot when it comes to technology. I am just like, stop calling yourself an idiot. It's like, okay, first off, I don't actually think I'm an idiot, but I'm not very bright when it comes to certain subjects like technology and self-deprecation, as long as you're not overdoing it and actually believe that shit. Um, can actually be healthy, and it's a good way to, you know, break the ice and have some humor to yourself. So, anyone who gets upset at me for saying that, don't. I'm the one saying it, and I don't feel bad for saying it. Anywho, 
but yeah, the whole Konohamaru thing, I actually think is pretty much the same. Maybe at the end of that, let's call it an episode, because it was a whole anime episode to itself. Maybe at the end of that, uh, they meet they meet up with Naruko, and Konohama does know, like, whoa, that's your sister, boss? She's really pretty. He's like, oh, I, oh well, good to see some boys have a good a sense of, uh, have a good sense of taste, uh, or uh, have sense to, you know, when to compliment a woman. I'd be creepy about it. <laughs> and I was like, thank you, Konohamaru. Uh, thanks, Konohamaru. I was like, oh, wait, you called me Konohamaru, too? Yeah, that's your name, right? <laughs> so... Now you get into the graduation. Well, they're all graduated, but the team selections. And this is where we're going to leave off. I'm going to basically leave off where the teams are, where the teams are, all the scenarios. So everyone kind of meets up. Naruto and Naruko get there early. They're sitting next to each other. They're digging in it. They're happy. Sasuke does notice that they're sitting there. Because, again, Naruto and Naruko are actually one of the only people in the class to not only give them a good, like, spar and fight, but are actually able to uh, even beat them on occasions. Uh, so, and particularly he knows Naruko because she's a woman who takes herself seriously. As I coined the phrase, I could see myself repopulating a clan with her. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, he, like, he does just, he does take notice of them. And he, and he at least acknowledges their presence there. Like, he, he's not, um, even though he's still got that complete attitude, it's like, just don't get in my way. Uh, <laughs> But um, even though he does have that attitude still, he does acknowledge them at least as competent peers to him. Now everyone else gets in there and like, oh, please, everyone saw them. He's like, Sasuke, oh, hi, Naruko, how you doing? He's like, what, beat a Naruto? And, like, and Nar Naruko's just like, Sakura. Uh, I was like, I'm sitting here, Sasuke. He's like, sorry to say, uh, and Naruko actually, you know, stands up and like, yeah, sorry, we sat here first. So if you want to sit near Sasuke, there's the bottom seat, there's the top seat. But we sat here first. Because Naruto really isn't going to stick, as we saw, he's not really going to stick up for himself against Sakura. Even uh, even if he didn't like her. Which, by the way, I don't know if Naruto, this version of Naruto would have the, the big crush on Sakura that he had. Because he does, because it really was more about getting attention than anything else, as they acknowledge in the Naruto the last movie. He didn't really know what love really meant or going out on dates or anything like that. Uh, with the, the fact that he has Naruko there means that he can kind of see past that a little bit. He does think that she's cute though, because he is a boy and he's still got hormones. Uh, but I don't see him really crushing on her the same way. If anything, I could see him crushing, A, yes, I could see him crushing on Ina Adamar, but I could actually see him crushing on Ino more, because she is, like, the the beauty of the class, of that group. Uh, I could see him crushing on her, but he also acknowledges they're too obsessed with Sasuke, and, oh, uh, God, it's like, he does find it excessively annoying, just like Naruko does. And... You know, Ino and Nar Sakura do hear this. Is like, well, so, yeah, but sorry, sorry, Naruko. Unfortunately, they just they're, they've kind of drifted apart as friends because of their obsession with Sasuke and not taking themselves seriously. And Sasuke does actually give a, you know, I was like, yeah, thanks for that. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And so everyone hears Naruko and he calls up the teams. Now, this where we're going to end it is where a lot of people are probably going to get pissed off with me. Naruto's name, Naruto and Naruko's names get called, blah, blah, blah. So Naruto gets placed on Team 7 with Sakura and Sasuke. Naruko gets placed on a team with just some nobodies who I'm not going to create characters for. Well, at least not at this time. We'll probably do that later down the road. But the re she's not going to be on a team that you know. She's not going to be on Team 7, Team 8, or Team uh, 9. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the reason for this... No, sorry. Team 10. Team 10 is uh, Shikamaru's team. Team 9 is still in rotation. That's right. That's Sky's team. The reason for this is... This isn't a fan fiction where I'm just going to make up a reason she could be on the team. I'm looking at this from this point of view of how the story would play out given the world of Naruto and given how the story plays out in there given the change we have. The Inishika Cho trio... That's just going to happen because that's the way that happens nearly every generation with an Inishika Cho. You want more proof? Look at the previous generation with those guys, with those, those that team's fathers and their kids. So the Inishika Cho trio is going to happen. Team A is one I could have considered, but the problem is Team A is clearly a tracking team. They're designed for that. Um, and I mean, 
let me rephrase that. There's nothing that specifically stated that was the case, but you have you have the uh, Izuka who's uh, got a sense to smell the dog. Hinata who's got the Biyak gun, perfect for long distance viewing, and Shino who can like spy the area with insects. I'm pretty. And then you look into some of the fillers, which admittedly aren't canon. It's clear they're designed as a tracking team. Naruko does not blend with that or does not mesh with that group dynamic. And even so, I'd then have to take out Hinata probably, or even then, if I didn't take out Hinata, I'd have to take out Kiba. And then I'd put Kiba on the know-nothing team, because there's no reason Kiba belongs on any of the other teams as well. So, you give me the hate if you need to. Get it out of your system. It's not changing my opinion no matter what, so live with that. Um, but Naruko is going to be on a kind of a, a no-name team. Yes, those characters will probably show up and they're all around the tuning exam stuff, and we will be, uh, we will be, um, <clears throat> um, going, we will be looking into Naruko's team as we look into Naruto's team as well. Uh, in fact, actually, because of that, we, it's going to help, sp because Naruko's not on the team with Naruto, it's actually going to help us get through this particular what if faster, because a lot of Naruto's story is not going to change drastically, uh, despite the fact that there are some changes. And it will change to some degree. For instance, like I said, they did swap jutsu, so she knows both shadow... So they both know the shadow clone jutsu, multi-shadow clone jutsu, and the shuriken shadow clone jutsu. Uh, but, regardless, that's where we're ending. The teams go off, Team 7 waits, and Kakashi eventually shows up. Naruto gives the, uh, the whole... They go and they introduce themselves... They get the whole, you know, what do you like and dislike? Naruto does add his sister and his friends in that part of that conversation. And so that is where we're ending part two. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you for part three. The week of what if comes up actually right after this week. So we'll see you after during part. Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later. Uh, and like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. All the usual good stuff. All the good shit, Billy. All the good shit. Have a good one, folks.